The negotiation efforts continue in Haiti after 17 American missionaries were kidnapped four days ago by a gang. We know six of them are from West Michigan, and the gang wants $1 million ransom for each hostage. Our Jacqueline Francis has been following the story from the beginning. You spent several days now in Oceana County learning about this family. Tell us about them. Yeah, I have. So first, we do want to note that we're not naming the family for safety and security reasons, but we can say that they live just outside of Hart, which is a small town in Oceana County. This week, I've had the chance to talk to quite a few people, including a close friend of the family, as well as the family's pastor. Through them, we've come to learn that a total of six family members were kidnapped over the weekend by that armed gang in Haiti. They're now being held hostage. Now, out of those six family members, they include a mother and her five kids. Hard to believe. All five yes. of those kids are under the age of 18, except for one of them. And also interesting, the father of the family went on that mission trip with them. So he's in Haiti. He just wasn't with them at the time oh. of the abduction. So presumably he's still down there yeah. waiting to figure out, like everyone else, what's right. going to happen. I mean, can you even imagine? So do we know about the decision then to go, to bring all five kids? And have they done this before? They've never been to Haiti before. Okay. That's according to their close family friend. They said that, th that they are a very mission-minded family. They have a deep faith. Mm -hmm. And so they went down there to educate others about the Bible. The friend says they did know about the risks involved, that they were aware they had to be careful. But she also said never in a million years would they have ever imagined something like this could happen. So... They knew there was a risk involved, mm -hmm. but certainly I don't think anyone was prepared for what happened. Yeah, certainly a lot of people, though, keeping an eye on this. And, of course, we'll be looking for any update that we can. Jacqueline, thanks.